containment. I invite you to imagine that you have a container. This can be any kind of container you wish. It could be a Tupperware, it could be a mason jar, it could be a chest. I just encourage you to allow this container to have a lid, one that when it's closed, you can hear it close. And I offer that you might put all the uncomfortable emotions, thoughts, beliefs, and body sensations that have shown up here today inside of this container. All of the uncomfortable stuff, all of the intense stuff, the stuff that you no longer want close to you in the present moment, even the stuff that's more unconscious that we're not even sure what it is yet. You could place all of this in the container, close the lid, and hear the lid close. When you're ready, I invite you to imagine placing that container somewhere. It could be somewhere close, like on your bookshelf, or it could be somewhere far away. Some people like to imagine flying their container off to another country and placing it underground somewhere. So it doesn't matter where it is, but somewhere where you know where the container is going so that you also know where to retrieve it when you're ready to feel the stuff that came up earlier. Sometimes you'll find the container will stay closed just fine. But there might be some days where you feel like that container has opened against your volition and you might just have to contain again and maybe even again and again, just contain and put away and close the lid as many times as needed until you're ready to retrieve the container, open it up, and return to what's inside. I hope you find this practice helpful. Thank you for being here. Namaste.